Hello guys, today we're going to install a Whirlpool garbage disposal or food disposal. Welcome to DIY Repair Now. Read all the warnings. And during this video, you will see one or more of these icons to help you do this repair safe. The first thing you need to do is disconnect the appliance to avoid electric shock. After we do that, we're going to show you what we're working with. We're going to install this Whirlpool. This is the part number. And this is all the specification. This is the one brings the plug, as you can see right there. If you work with the one that does not have the plug, you just have to switch it from one garbage disposal to the other one, from the old one to the new one. This is the other specification. This is half horsepower and everything else is there in different languages. This is in case you wanna install the same exact model, you can just get the information from there. Then we're going to go ahead and put a flathead screwdriver and turn counterclockwise to remove the old garbage disposal. Now I'm just doing this as a demonstration, but everything is still connected. So we're going to remove the two drain holes, one that is coming from dishwasher and the other one that is, it goes to the drain. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the one on the drain and we're going to um, take it apart from the P-trap. So just turn counterclockwise until it's completely loose. Once you do that, just go ahead and disconnect the um, drain hose that is coming from the dishwasher and remember to be prepared for water to spill down. Just go ahead and use a flathead screwdriver, like I said, or a 516s and the drain hose is going to come loose from the clamp now as you can see it kind of dropped on me because i already got it loose but this is the way i do it because it's kind of easier for me otherwise you have to take the whole p-trap out but you can just follow this video or do it your way once we do that we're going to go ahead and use a flathead screwdriver or like a needle nose or any kind of pliers to wiggle the uh, drain hose that is coming from the dishwasher to the garbage disposal. Now we're going to get it out of the way. This is the part that we're working with and you can find this part. It will be a link in the description of this video. Now we're going to go ahead and do the unboxing of the new one. And this is the paperwork in case you want to go through i'm just going to go ahead and show it to you just pause the video and you can get some instructions from here however you know you will have some instructions in yours this is the part that goes to the sink as you can see everything comes in a box and everything is brand new we're going to go ahead and start losing this new piece from this ring and you will see what i'm talking about in a few minutes once you unscrew this part this ring should come out. You gotta use a flathead screwdriver to be able to remove this ring. Remember, this is the new part. Once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and get the rest of the pieces out and the garbage disposal out. Like I told you before, this one is the one that has extension cord or plug, however you wanna call it. Now, this is very important. If you have a dishwasher draining in your garbage disposal, you got to use sort of a stick, a metal stick to pop this um, cover out. You just tap it in and just put your hand inside the garbage disposal and just remove the plastic piece that it goes in. That's very important. You have to pop it out because if you connect the dishwasher drain hose through that pipe, it's not going to drain. So make sure you pop that out. This is the rest of the pieces. It has an ailing range in case it gets stuck in the future. And this is the pieces that goes with the drain. If you get it stuck, just twist it like that, like I just show you right there. And this is the new elbow that goes for the new garbage disposal. Now, this is just pre-setting it. I'm just going to go ahead and put the screws, but I'm not going to go ahead and tighten it because I tight everything once it's in place. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the one from the old one because I just wanted to see how they put the seal. 
once I check, I make sure I put the seal right. That's the way it goes. And I'm going to go ahead and put the two screws. You can use a flathead screwdriver to tie these two screws out. But we're not going to tighten it. We're going to leave that for last. As you can see, I'm just going to go ahead and like kind of pre uh, tighten it, but it's not tight all the way. I just wanted to have it in place because I'm going to have to move it and bend it once I get it in place. Now we're going to go ahead and unscrew these three long screws that is holding the uh, sink apart. Just use your drill. This is a uh, Phillips screws and just turn it counterclockwise. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and remove this ring. Just use a flathead screwdriver and the ring will come down and the whole piece will come out. Now the ring piece, believe it or not, it looks simple, but the ring piece is the one is very, very hard to deal with it. Sometimes you can spend, you can spend about 45 minutes an hour trying to get that ring in place, depending how much space you're dealing with. Once you do that, you remove every other piece that is in the bottom and then you go to the top and remove the piece from the top. Now, as you can see, there's putty right there, but the putty is all dried out, so you're gonna have to use a new one. You can get it at Home Depot. This is the ring. I'm just trying to overlook here how, um, and show you how it goes. You have to put one in first and then put the other one in the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you in a minute. You're probably going to need somebody to help you with that part because somebody have to hold it on the top. This is the only thing that I don't like about Whirlpool's um, garbage disposal. I mean, I like the brand and everything, but just the fact that it doesn't bring the putty and you have to run to Lowe's or Horn Depot. This is the putty, by the way, the one I got in my hand. Um, but just the fact that it doesn't come in the box is very inconvenient because, like I said, you have to run to a wire warehouse um store and bought this separately now the ge models which i have a video on my channel and how to install that brings a gasket like a rubber gasket that you put instead of this putty and i like that one but again i don't like the brand but i like the fact that it brings everything out of the box i'm gonna go ahead and link the video for the ge as well in case you guys are interested However, like I said before, if you know how to deal with plumbing putty, go ahead and use the Whirlpool because I like the Whirlpool better. If it gets stuck, it brings an Allen wrench that you can just uh, put it on the bottom of the garbage disposal and then twist it and you will get it on, on uh, clocked or on lock. Once you do that, we're gonna go ahead and put the bottom pieces and you will see specifications and how to put the ring because like I said that is the piece that is uh, very hard to get it in place you put those pieces first as you see in the footage and before you start tying everything up we're gonna go ahead and put the ring this is the ring and as you can see right there just put one piece and because it's a split, you know, it's, it has like a, a, a split and that's how you have to deal with it. Now, in this case, nobody's holding it for me. So for me, it's more complicated because it keeps going up every time I'm trying to put the ring. So if you do it by yourself, you might run into some complications. As you can see, I have to put one hand um, in the other side of the sink to be able to get this ring in place. Now I've been doing this for a while, so even it was hard for me to do it when I've been doing this for a while. So if you don't have any experience dealing with this, I suggest you to have somebody to help you to hold this top piece in place. And then you can just deal with the spring in the bottom. Now you can watch my other videos i'm gonna go ahead and link in the description of this video if you can you probably see another details that it, i might not put it in this video but 
basically I try to get all the footage that way it's easier for you to do the repair so pretty much everything is here it's just a simple details that you might find in the other videos like if you don't have if you don't buy the one already brings the cord the plug i might have another video on my channel which i'm going to go ahead and link it and it will show you how to switch the um the plug from one garbage disposal to the other one now i'm using my drill to pre tighten this but most of the time i use my um, screwdriver and just do a hand tie because that drill sometimes is too strong and you can strip some screws so it can damage something so just pre tighten it with the screw um, with the drill and go ahead and tighten it really good by hand with a screwdriver now there's three pieces have to match with this part of the garbage disposal um, drain so you will see in a minute how you have to set it in place and then twist it. Just so you know, I didn't put any sound, any original sound on this video because the customer was right next to me the whole entire time talking to me and I couldn't put any original audio. I know you guys like to hear everything that is happening, but I cannot put that private conversation in this video. Once I got it in place, you will see those three attachments and you just have to set it in place and then twist it. Now, when you twist it, I notice a lot of guys didn't twist it all the way. And sometimes when I show up, it's, it's leaking because it's coming loose. Remember, when this thing is on, it vibrates. So it's a chance that if you don't install it right, it might start a leaking after a um, couple of weeks or during time i took it off and now i'm putting it back because i want to get everything on camera now i'm doing the drain pipe and this is the pipe that goes to the p-trap this is the part that i was telling you about if you have somebody to help you somebody to hold it for you is best or otherwise you're going to have to remove the whole you which is the p-trap all this piece but for me it's better this way now once you got it in place just use a flat head or Phillips screwdriver and make sure it goes to that little loop right there all the garbage disposal brings that loop because that's the secure uh, loop that um, holds it in place even when it's on and vibrate so you will hear like a little bump when they all this three pieces falls in place there we go that's where you know for sure that it's in the lock position it will not come right out and even when it's already tight right there you can still turn it to be able to get drain hoses in place in drain pipes now remember that this piece has a gasket too like a plastic ring gasket make sure you put that in place i'm pretty sure you guys um watch when i put it back in this new black pipe now we're going to go ahead and plug the garbage disposal and we're going to go ahead and install the drain hose this drain hose is the one is coming from the um dishwasher so remember most of the time if you have a dishwasher 90 percent of the time that dishwasher is going to drain into your garbage disposal and you have to pop that plastic piece for other to drain again do it by hand you don't want to put that drill there and damage the um the clamp once you do that, just try to remember how the drain hose was and just put it the way it was. Everything should be fine. As you see right there, trying to get everything on camera. That way you don't have any complications. 
And like I told you before, if you have somebody to help you with this piece, um, that'd be great. Now we're going to go ahead and remove all the excess of putty. Again, there's going to be a link in the description of this video. It will be easier for you if you order everything through Amazon because you can buy the putty on Amazon as well. And also the garbage disposal. Now I just turn it on and everything is working fine. It's doing everything that it's supposed to do. I'm going to go ahead and put this cup on. Also, this cup uh, comes on the box. So just, you, just do this test. And once you get a couple gallons of water there, just go ahead and remove the cap and it shouldn't leak or anything like that. Now, remember, I, I told you I didn't tie this into I, I was finished. So this is time for you to tie these screws because otherwise it will leak. One of the most difficult things to do this repair besides the ring and the piece that goes into the actual sink is the uh, limited space. As you can see, I'm having a hard time trying to twist these screws uh, in place. At this point, we're pretty much done, guys. I just test it, and that's it. No leaks. No leaks, no nothing. All right, guys, if this video helped you in any way, you can show us appreciation by giving us a tip using the following options that you see on the screen. If you cannot provide with a tip, is another way to support this channel by just dropping off a comment in the comment section down below. Subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, and turn on the bell to receive notifications. Thanks for watching.